electricity sparked a fireball which killed the tanker driver, a 28-year-old man from the outer northern suburb of Paralawi. Within minutes, flames engulfed the refuelling gantry and were leaping 30 metres into the air. Fire crews battled for almost five hours to bring the blaze under control, which came critically close to giant storage tanks. The news of the fire came almost as a self-fulfilled prophecy to a stunned Norm Peterson, the local member of parliament, who warned of the fire risk only yesterday. Quoting from an internal report of the Marine and Harbours Department, Mr Peterson criticised the lack of adequate firefighting facilities at the tanker berths along the Port River. With chilling foresight, the report revealed that firefighting standards were inadequate at all berths. Access for fire vehicles was very limited and the high risk of fire spreading from the shell berth to other ships. Norm Peterson's warning of a potential catastrophe came perilously close to reality last night. I was shocked. I, I didn't, when I raised the matter, imagine it could have happened, a fire in, the, in, in that time. But it has, and I think everybody, and, I, and to the Premier, I say to the Premier, we need action now, we need an investigation, an assessment of what's required, and action taken to, to supply that uh, for, for those facilities immediately. And that includes a new fire station on the peninsula. With the depot remaining out of bounds to the media, and senior Shell officials inside declining to comment, Norm Peterson's warnings still ring loud and clear. And when you consider this area bristles with giant petrol and gas storage tanks, his call for improved fire protection measures